Welcome everyone to this month's Crystal Colourscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper and this is my very large bag of crystals. So in a moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my hand into the bag, take a crystal for all of us to take a look at the influences that are ahead for us. We're going to look at the colours and anything else that comes up. What I want you to do is see if you can intuit what that colour is before I take the crystal out of the bag, maybe what the crystal is as well. And then you'll have an opportunity later on to select either crystal one, two or three to receive a message that's personal to you. And you'll be able to move along in the video as well. And the times for moving along are in the information below. All right, so are you ready? So I'm gonna put my hand into the crystal bag. <laughs> See if you can intuit what the crystal is. See if you can intuit the color. Ooh. Giving me a lot of energy. Oh, okay, so this is a piece of emerald. So we see here it's got this lovely green and then it's uh, it's darker around there as well. Emerald is a, it's a stone of success. It's a stone of love as well because it links with the, the green vibration. What I'm getting from this, when I look at it, there's almost a sense of old energy. There's a feeling of letting go of something that is really old. It's stagnant. It's, it's no longer, it's no longer purposeful in your life. It can be an emotion, particularly because it's green and it links with the heart energy. It feels like it could be an old worn out idea. So it may be something that you've been thinking about, negative programming, patterns, something like this. Oh, I never get what I want. That kind of vibration, it could be. It's just a negative energy and it feels like you're letting go of that. That there's a this parting of this light green that's coming through right here. So there's a sense of you opening up your heart is opening up so something new is coming through and that stagnant energy is being left behind green is a very protective color it's a very protective energy so when we look at the planet there's lots of green around us that green brings in protection it brings in balance also brings in nourishment and nurturing as well so this is a great week to look after yourself to care for yourself and to release and let go go of whatever is no longer serving you. New energy coming in, very exciting. All right, so now it's your turn. Use your intuition to select either number one, two or three and remember, see if you can intuit what the color of the crystal is and maybe what the crystal is too and let me know in the comments below if you got the color or the crystal. Okay, number one see what you have. Stick down deep. All right, you ready? It's a very tiny crystal. It's a little piece, it's a little piece of Larimar. So this Larimar, Larimar, it comes from the Dominican Republic. It's the only place where you can get it. And Edgar Casey spoke of a crystal that would be found in that area and it, that it would connect to Atlantis. So there is a sense that Larimar connects to a very special, a very special time when technology was different, when technology was, was far beyond maybe what we have right now. At least this is the story. So the sense with this is that you are reconnecting with something that is that may have come from before in this lifetime or come from a previous lifetime that is beyond where you are at this moment. So if it's in this lifetime, let's say it's something creative because it's blue. So maybe you were extremely creative as a child and you haven't tapped into that yet. I feel that what this is saying is that you're bringing that energy back in again. If this comes from a previous lifetime, you're bringing energy back in again. That Larimar is very much about knowledge and using it wisely. Because of course with Atlantis, there's also that sense of, because of technology, because of understanding certain laws, that they went beyond where they should have gone. So with this, there's a sense of using 
your knowledge, your power wisely. What it also says is with Larimar, it clears the meridians, it clears the energy in your in your body, in your system, and it removes, there's almost a sense of it cuts away energy that you've you've linked to other people through so cords so this is saying with the blue vibration that you are rejecting something moving something out of your life cutting it out of your life cutting away from it uh, at, at the same time with the blue blue can be about coming into this place of connecting with the divine as well and I'm feeling this little energy that's coming through me as I'm saying that so there's quite a number of things for you this month there's that reconnection to creativity reconnection to something that you've done before either in this lifetime or a previous lifetime and also connecting to the divine and what your next step is and really embracing that next step. There's a sense of stopping struggling uh, and just going with the flow. Number two, let's see what you have. Let's take a little deeper. What color is it? It's it's orange. It's I could hardly see it there. It's a tangerine color. So hopefully you can see that. It's a golden tangerine. This is tangerine sun aura. So it has this little golden sheen to it. And you know, orange is a color of it's the sacral center, so it's about bliss, it's about happiness, it's about creativity, it's about confidence. With the orange vibration, I feel that this is saying that. This is gonna be a great month for you. There's almost a feeling of you coming out to play. Uh, and now it's your turn, it's your time. There's, there's gold that's in this, there's copper that's in this, there's iron that's in this. So there's a sense of, there's almost a sense of nutritionally, you may be looking after your physical body. That's what comes to me with these particular elements at the moment. So there's a sense of you looking after your body health-wise. I'm seeing a lot of violet as I hold onto this as well. So something is changing in your life and you're, I, this is, I can see this curtain that's opening up and it's like you're coming out onto a stage. I'm getting a lot of energy around me. You're coming out onto a stage and it's like you're saying to people, okay, I am not going to go against this anymore. I am going to go with what is right for me. This is the path I'm going to take. And I see everybody cheering. It's like, yes, finally. So I feel that this is saying that there's a great deal of happiness that's coming in. Golden opportunities are coming up. You're looking after your body more. Health-wise, something's going to shift there as well. And it's you're just opening yourself up to, to the truth that is you. So you're you're saying to everybody, okay, I'm not going to struggle with this anymore. This is who I am. This is the path I'm going to take and I'm going to welcome it in. And um, people are going to be really happy about it. So at the same time, what just came up was a wedding, a celebration. So I'm not saying that everybody's going to go to a wedding with this particular stone, but there is a sense of a union and a celebration that is coming with that union. So don't be surprised if a new friend comes into your life this month that is really meaningful because you have stepped out into the open. Number three, let's see what you have. <laughs> You're going to choose the color and the, and the crystal. Oh, okay. So I have a piece of celestite. This is actually broken from a bigger piece of celestite that kind of was like this. So this is a slice of that celestite. So there's a little broken piece that's in the bag. So I feel that that's meaningful. Celestite it connects you to your angels, to that blue energy, that blue vibration connects to your angels, your guides, it takes you higher, it lifts your spirits up. So there's a sense of happiness that comes with this particular color, but it's not happiness like you're going out playing and um, and partying, etc. It's not about that. This is a, a contentment that comes in with it. 
Well, what's interesting to me is that you have this little slice and there is a piece that is still left in the bag. So I, what is that? There's a, a feeling of you are looking for something. You, you still have to find something and your guides and your angels are going to help you to find it. So this is a month for you to make that connection with your angels to help them to guide you to what you need to do next, to help you to see the bigger picture of your life, to guide you to connect with your psychic energies, your spiritual energies, your intuition. I feel that this is also linking with a mirror energy as well, that there's somebody gonna be in your life, could be a teacher, who will reveal to you something about yourself that either you hadn't acknowledged or you just didn't know about and and there's a sense that this is going to wake something up for you in your mind it could be a memory or it, a thought an idea it's just a sense of something is waking up for you the final thing that comes with this is about writing. So I feel that writing is going to be important. Communication, because it's a blue color, is going to be important. But it, it's not necessarily writing to a person. It, it could just be writing something like inspiration or poetry. There's a sense of something is going to come through you, that written word. And it's going to be important. I, I feel that it would be important for you to read this to someone or to share it with someone. Don't just keep it to yourself. There's a beautiful energy that's going to be coming through you this month. And that energy is also going to heal others. Okay, that's it for this month's Crystal Colorscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you got the crystal and got the color and please share it with your friends. I'll see you next month. Lots of colorishest blessings to you. Bye.